On the eve of their biggest game of the year to date, Ohio State and Michigan State are taking time to honor their rivals. The Buckeyes and Spartans will both wear Chad Tough helmet decals in tomorrow's Top 10 showdown in honor of five-year-old Chad Carr, the grandson of former Michigan head coach Lloyd Carr, who's been placed in hospice care with an inoperable brain tumor. Just another layer of emotion for a huge game with Big Ten title and college football playoff implications on Senior Day. And sometimes you honor senior classes and you honor them because I guess you have to honor senior classes. Then other times you honor senior classes because of their contributions to a great university and a great uh, football program are kind of over the top, and this one is. Uh, 48 wins since their freshman year, uh, which is an Ohio State program record. Um, a record 30 game win streak, which is Big Ten, and I think someone said a national record, and then they've been a part of two winning streaks. Uh, 24 and 23 games, which is both uh, Ohio State records. So, you know, the first thing I do is look at the names and faces of those people that were there. And I called it blind faith from the day we walked through the door because they, they probably couldn't stand us compared to, well, you know, the previous staff. And uh, excellent staff. It's just we were so much different. And then they stuck it out, stuck it out. Some guys didn't stick it out. Some guys decided to move on and go about their own journey. So that's my first thing is always thinking about those guys and what it's going to be like to put your arm around them in the stadium. You know, I got a senior right beside me, uh, Joshua Perry, you know. I mean, there's also seniors throughout the team that I really want to win this for. But, you know, Josh, who's did great things throughout this community, uh, great things for this program coming here. He was here when it was at rock bottom when they went uh, six or seven, I think, or whatnot. But uh, I just want to leave him out on a good note like we did last year with Curtis Grant. My, mo my mom and dad are going to be a mess, and that's that's going <laughs> to – that's what's gonna be tough for me is, you know, I'm gonna go out there and, you know, I, you know, when I chose to come back for my senior year, you know, my dad, he was like, you know, I want to be out there on the field for your senior day. Um, so I know they're, you know, they're looking forward to it, but at the same time, it's gonna be sad for them because I know they've they've loved watching me play. Um, but that that'll be the hardest part for me is seeing my parents because I I know they're gonna be crying. Decker, a Vandalia native, wasn't recruited by Ohio State's previous coaching staffs. He said they didn't want him, so he verbally committed to Notre Dame. It took the hiring of Urban Meyer to make Decker's childhood dreams come true. Uh, you know, I wanted to come here. I just, none of the coaches wanted me to come here. You know, I wanted to, but they didn't want me to. Um, so that, that was the thing with that. And, you know, just ironically enough, the people that I had the main main contact with at Notre Dame were both hired here. It was Coach Hen was my recruiting coach, and Coach Warner's the position coach there. Um, so it was just kind of like a perfect storm. Um, and then you know, Coach Meyer said, just you know, just give me one day, just come up here and visit one day. And if if you don't like it, I'll leave you alone. Just tell me you don't like it, I'll, I'll leave you alone. I won't bother you. You can go to Notre Dame. Um, so you know, obviously, I, I I had always wanted to come here. So Saturday afternoon will be an emotional day for the Buckeyes as Mike Miller, our Buckeye insider, joins us now. And Mike, as we heard from Urban Meyer, this is a senior class that sometimes you honor senior classes because, well, they're seniors and you honor them because they're seniors. But this is a different group. And I look at a Braxton Miller and a Joel Hale, two guys that not only are fifth-year seniors, but they both enrolled early. They enrolled in January of 2011. So they went through spring practice with Jim Trussell. Yeah then went through the six and seven Luke Fickle year, and then the last four years with Urban Meyer. Those types of guys is going to be a really a special day for them. It is, Mark, and they deserve a lot of props because they, they hung it out. They, they stayed with the program. So often when there's coaching transitions, no matter who it is, even if it's Hall of Famers, current, or soon to be guys like Trestle or, or Future, uh, guys like Urban Meyer, you don't necessarily stick around. You leave, you go to other schools, they stuck around, they play, they contribute, uh, they've had great runs. In fact, they both graduated from Ohio State, so when you take all that into account, it's an extra special senior day coupled with a tremendous winning record. Well, in all likelihood, it's going to be the last day, last game at Ohio State and for some other Buckeyes yeah. who won't be honored because they still have a year of eligibility. Certainly all signs indicate that mm -hmm. Joey Bosa will be leaving after his junior season. Some other guys have that possibility to go to the pros as well. Yep. Uh, Urban Meyer said we aren't going to honor those guys. They have to be fourth year kids or kids in their fifth year. That's the way it's done. But it's, it's going to be a special day for the Joey Bosa's as well. 
Right, because we know he's gone, quite frankly, and, and highly likely Ezekiel Elliott is probably gone. And you could maybe list a few others for Ohio State uh, simply because they are, have reached that status where they're going to be so high with their draft level, it's time to go for the money. So in addition to the significance of the game, a final chance to play at Ohio Stadium, and for anyone who's ever been down there knows what an incredible facility and what a place it is, a magical place for college football, it's an important day. It's an important day because it's an important game as well with yep. Michigan State coming in. The winner of this game is still very much alive to get to the Big Ten Championship yep. game. The loser is pretty much out of the picture. We need a whole lot of help for that to happen. We talked about it earlier this week. Ohio State is fully preparing for Connor Cook to be the starting quarterback for Michigan State. I guess we're going to find out on Saturday if that was a foolish preparation or not. I don't think it is. I think Connor Cook's a tough guy. To me, frankly, he kind of reminds me of the of the Finley's uh, Ben Roethlisberger. He's a big, physical, smart guy who can do what he has to do, that is run when he has to, can put the ball anywhere on a dime, be it way downfield, be it a short pass, he can read defenses. He's a very smart, tough player. If he's not ready to go or if he doesn't last the whole game, then Ohio State will adjust to the backup. Well, and Connor Cook, like the backup Tyler O'Connor, like Big Ben, Ohio natives, quite a few Ohio yep. natives on this Michigan State a roster including running back L.J. Scott. And that's, an, that's an excellent point to make because that provides even more impetus for Michigan State. The other thing we can't forget about this Michigan State team, these guys know how to win. They're used to winning. They're not going to be afraid to be in a competitive situation with Ohio State and all their gaudy winning streaks and all. And, and so often the physical similarities are there between these teams, but are you mentally prepared to win? And Michigan State will bring that to the table. Spartans defense has been what they've hung their hat on the last several years, yep. but is the Spartan defense outside of maybe the, the defensive line, is it as good as the last couple Spartan Ds? I don't think it is. I, I, statistics argue that it isn't. Yes, they haven't been quite as healthy. They might be about as healthy as they've been all year, but I think one place you want to watch are their corners. I don't think they're the lockdown corners that we've, we've become used to. Uh, for Michigan State, and I don't think their collective linebackers are as good. Riley uh, Bola is very good, but I don't think the group is maybe on par with what Michigan State uh, has had. And, you know, statistics don't lie. The Spartans are really only about middle of the pack in the Big Ten. All right, thank you very much, Mike. And uh, one final reminder, if you are going to the Ohio State-Michigan State game this Saturday, Ohio, Stadium has, Ohio State has instituted a new policy at Ohio Stadium, clear bags only. It's very similar to what the NFL does, so uh, you can't bring in backpacks anymore. If you're going to have a bag, it has to be a clear bag that they can see through. Mm -hmm. Ohio State uh, will be giving away clear bags at the official team stores throughout the week, and so per, and if there are still supplies available Saturday before the game, you can swing in and get a clear bag. Otherwise, you won't be allowed to bring your bag into the stadium. It's all a security procedure after last week's terror attacks in Paris. Andy, back to you.